three, two, one. Action. Should I take off the Wi-Fi? The last one was good. How did the last one look? I remember. The last one did good. Yeah, but you don't remember if you had Wi-Fi? Yeah, I think I had it on. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm. If there are any issues with the feed, let us know. Oh, shit. Oh, wax. You know what? I'm not bored. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Oh, no, do. No, no, good. It's hard for me to look right here. You need to look right there. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that in good the morning, circuit. guys. Thank you for joining us again for another breakfast live. Mm -hmm. We're a little late, but mm -hmm. better late than never. Because we're doing something simple today. So, yeah, it's going to be abbreviated, hopefully. Simple-ish. simple, simple -ish. Simple ish. Once again, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast Live. Yours truly, Yada Belly, and the original wifey. One true natural. One true natural. Find her on Instagram. Mm -mm. Ladies and gentlemen, no can't tell me if you shave. No, sir. No, it's no. a struggle. It's like men have to shave every day. <sighs> Trust me. It's like y'all hair grow so fast, and girls can't get their hair to grow fast. Trust me. Ridiculous. But it's a beautiful morning and we're giving God praise and thanks and glory and honor and all of them something there. Hold on there, hold on there, because the, the camera, she said the camera. You might as well clean the back one while you're at it. You see? You don't believe me, it make a big difference. It don't really make a difference. It make a big difference. Mm. When you clean your, your screen, it make a good difference. Joan B, good morning, morning to John. you. How you doing? All the other folks that are on, good, good morning, morning to you. To you all. I clean the camera. Go oh, ahead. Look good. Go ahead. I told you. Go ahead and just thumbs up the video if you do not mind. Please drop Courtesy a thumbs up. Courtesy of NRAMC. Yeah, yeah just, drop just a thumbs, thumbs up, up on the video. So this morning we're making an egg dish. Yeah. And it's, it's something that we often do. Um, and the good thing about egg dishes is that you can make it in so many variations, so many different ways, you know, but this morning we're adding the unique um, flavor ingredients, smoked salmon. It's not unique, but most Jamaicans really morning, and truly. Shanda, morning. You think most Jamaicans use smoked salmon? Oh, well, I definitely never used it when I was back home. And, and I, 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 I developed the taste for it, especially in the, in the, in the raw stage, when it really smoking, when it's mm -hmm. smoky. You know, and so we're gonna use that. Candy's chin, big morning, up yourself. Candies. Morning, big morning, up. morning, Bernadette. Bernadette, Denise. big up. Good morning, good morning. morning. Candy's big up. Mel glad. Morning, Russell. Russell. Big up. Russell, we are cook a party this morning. You understand? So, yeah, I and saw the thing said. And on a yard style part today. Yeah, no, yeah. We're, we're going firing. Well, touch a little bit of, you know, Morning, Mediterranean Enram. Enram. Big up yourself. Thumbs up Enram. You see it? You see it? Yeah. Russell, thumbs up. Go ahead and thumbs Crazing, up the video. What that? Cre Creasing K? Season. Season. Seasoning. Oh, Go seasoning. Oh, big up yourself. Big up yourself. Seasoning. With, with the, the, the spelling and the pronunciation. Yeah, some of these names are get to it sometimes. fancy, y'all. Y'all But crazy. hey, before we go in at the, the cooking, because you know we always do a little talking. Mm hmm. Yesterday, I watched a town hall meeting in Florida about the school shooting. And to be honest, guys, it, 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 it leaked home. The school shooting thing hit home for us as a family mm -hmm. because one of the young men who died, who was killed, used to go to school with our son. And close friends, mm -hmm. them used to be close as children, middle school. And they say, they say the little youth grew up just as our, our son grew up. They're the same age. Same age and everything. And just because him leave our location and move to Coral Springs, him become the victim of senseless killing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really hit home because we look on Peter Wang is his name. Mm -hmm. And we look on Peter and we look on our son. And them almost look the same. If only thing um Peter Asian. One Asian and one look. But but Joshua mm -hmm. used to eat food at Peter um, think, Mother Sherry? Restaurant and you know, you know, them used to interact as kids. You know, go over there for ice cream after school and everything there. Mm -hmm. And it's just crazy, you know, that as a Christian man, because I don't scared to say I'm a Christian man. 
we see the, 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 the slowly degradation of the school system in America. When some idiot, I'm not afraid to say some idiot, come up and say, oh, them no need to have prayer in a school and you know to read the Bible in a school. Hmm. Before them time there, nobody never used to shoot up school. Mm -hmm. but no, before them, them take out the, the Bible out of school, nobody never used to shoot up school before them prayer morning time. In those days when you get to you reach a school and you have devotion and you pray before class, nobody never used to shoot up school. So now them take out all of that out of school and slowly leave Satan and him friend them for run school. They run rampant. And now they must say, oh, teacher for carry gun. That's ridiculous. You know? Um, now so you have, you have, same evil fight, fight you have evil. use evil fight evil. That now you have, you have, they must say them, them have considered now to put long, long gun in a school, security walk around with gun in a school. Mm -hmm. And now them have to focus their attention on keeping those same students from trying to access those guns. So what if one of the teacher them get mad one of the day them? Because hmm. everybody can get mad. Hmm. <laughs> Madness no, 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 no fear of nobody. Madness no <laughs> partial. I know. Worse. You have demonic possession of one. Because mm -hmm. they don't want to talk about those things in other society, I know. That there is spiritual levels to life and, and physical levels to life. Only Christians are talking about it and, and Christians get cussed all the while. Oh, no, two, this or no, two, that. Listen, man. Put back the prayer in high school. Mm -hmm. If somebody did a prayer for that boy, they, and if, if that boy they get up one man and hear prayer, that, that simple prayer they could have changed him direction. If somebody say, Lord Jesus, praise your name, thank your God for giving us a morning and whatever, it could have changed the youth the direction instead of leave him to his own devices mm -hmm. and then on give him access. Him can walk in because him white and him privileged, him can walk into a gun store and buy an AR-15. Hmm. You understand? And him could have gone online pam, pam, you, whatever, and tell people say, I'm going to shoot down the place and nobody not do nothing about it. But no, oh, we're going to make teachers have gun in the classroom. And we're going to make security guard have gone to... And nobody now say. We're going to make people start pray for one another. Mm -hmm. We're going to make kids learn to pray again to God, the almighty creator of the universe. Nobody now say that. But when the people them get shoot up, oh, pray for Parkland and pray for, for Sunny Isles and mm -hmm. pray for downtown. And <laughs> you, you can't flip the script. You know, wait so until God, something God is like a, pray. You not treat God like him as a punk. Eh? God, we don't want you in at the school, but if anybody dead, we we'll pray to you right, for them. Right, right. It's ridiculous. It's really it's ridiculous. ridiculous. And these leaders are dumb. Just bottom line, dumb. Because we have become politically correct and we have become advanced in our society and our department. No other country in our world now go through this. No other country in the world not going through this. Mm -mm. And no other country no have armed um, security guard and teacher work with gun and all them something there. Only we, because we're stupid. We move away from God. Even countries that have different religious belief, mm -hmm. them still entertain them religion in a them society. But we who are founded upon Christian principles, we take out the principles that we're founded upon out of our society for inter entertain all other spiritual and moral codes of ethics. We want to do what we want, do what we want, live what we want, live what we want. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. So this morning, I have to get back. I have to get back to prayer. That's my word this morning, get back to prayer. Mm -hmm. You see, because I know so my son can't publicly pray in school. Eh? I pray for him every morning. So yeah. let's put it to that place there. We pray, pray for him with, every morning. with them. Don't pray behind them back to yeah, pray, let, let them pray with see them. you pray yeah. with them. I make them, make them pray some of my time. Exactly. You understand? Every morning, me I take him to school. And that you see him could have go up on the school bus. But me say no, me no want you go up on the school bus. Me sacrifice and get up five o'clock every morning to take you to school. Why? Because I want to make sure that my prayer to God Almighty is the is the, the thing that you hear going into this classroom in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure that God Almighty understands that me dedicating my time to pray for my son. I'm going to pray for everybody too. I'm pray for the young people at my church. I'm pray for the leadership at the church. I'm pray for my friends and my families. And them. But we need more prayer. Because it's time now the people of God who call God God. Not everybody, but who call God God. Mm -hmm. It's time now we stop being reactive and start being active. Stop react to things. Oh my Lord, everybody, the people them shoot at this. Stop react. 
and start act, get up in the morning and pray for your family, get up in the morning and pray for your son, do the things them that God require you to do. You understand? And, and nullify evil in your society. Because the Bible does tell you that if you do that, it will respond. They say, if my people shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, mm -hmm. then shall I hear from heaven, heal them sins, and forgive their sins and heal the land. Exactly. So. You know, so when you get up in the morning, family, friends, when you get up in the morning, I not tell you about being religious, you know. I tell you about being godly. It's a difference. You know, do things for, for, assess, for please a society. You do things for, for safeguard your home. Pray for your family. You understand? Pray, cover your house. When your kids them go up on the road, you don't know which idiot out there luring and waiting upon them. So pray for them and stop allow society to dictate you. Oh, government, I'm going to put gun in our school so the kids them are going to save them. not safe. There's no safety outside of God. No safety to that man can devise, can replace God. I mean, I care who one vex. You understand? And that's 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 the word with this man. And come, me ignorant about it, you know. Me, <laughs> me, me burn me for them. Me feel some type of way. Yeah, me feel some type of way when me say the would be leaders sit on a talk crap and I defend themselves and I shift blame and and the gun people them I say who 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 and the sheriff I say who ho ho and the politician I say who he he and none of them now say God. None of them. Nah, say God. You understand? And we like the sheep don't sit down and try to put our hopes in them. No. Hope in Jesus. You understand? Hope in Jehovah God. Hope in the God of the universe. Put your hope back in God. People, get back to the place where God is your source and not man. God is your shield and buckler and not man. God is your protector and not man. Get back to the place there where your confidence is in God. He mm -hmm. yeah, And we really and truly pray for those who are suffering. Because of gun violence. From Sandy Hook to any other hook. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Good you them up there. And them shouldn't have to go through this as kids. You understand? So we pray for them. This man, I just want to read right, right quick. I want to cook the food, you know. But I want to read this prayer this morning is for all who are suffering. And it's a Father, I rejoice in you as the Father of deep empathies, who comfort and encourages us. I need this so often, and so do millions of others in your family and outside. You see that? Outside, I'm family too, I pray for you. Know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How little I, fe I really feel the wrenching sorrow and hopelessness of people as you do stir my heart lord in new ways make me and all your children can you see you know if you be christian for be a child of god from god make your years a child of god from here a human being here a child of god some are wayward mm -hmm. some are we are do the wrong thing but we are children of god and and it's the same some of some of god's children are, are, are hopeless even the ones who commit the atrocities are hopeless yeah, even those who commit the atrocities are hopeless. So stir my heart, Lord. In new ways, make me and all your children channels of your love and compassion. Spending ourselves in both prayer and action for those who suffer. Lord, help those who are suffering again and again meet their needs. Physical need, financial need, emotional need, and spiritual need. Through their pain or loss or trouble, make them aware of how much they need you. Then draw them to you as their Savior and Shepherd and their Lord. Comfort them in their anguish, in their pain, in their depression, in their despair. Deliver them. I pray especially for your people who are going through intense persecution, torture, imprisonment and other such issues. Help them and their families to lean hard on you and give them supernatural strength. Protect them, encourage them, and uphold them. Provide for their every need. Make your presence unspeakably real to them. Give your joy to those who suffer. Put a new song of praise in their mouth so that many will hear what you have done and put their trust in you. Amen. 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 And and Second Corinthians chapter one verse three and four simply says, "The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, comforts us in all our troubles." 
I saw the thing set. You understand? People are struggle, people are suffer. Mm -hmm. And my first inclination was to say, boy, that you they would kill the people, them hate him and all of that. But he must suffer too. It's so bad for say it. But mm -hmm. you know, he must suffer too. Yeah, I know. And hurt people, hurt people. people. You see me? Hurt people, hurt people. Our society, America, we need a recourse. We need to repent. A couple of years ago, Uganda did have serious problems. Serious problems as a nation. And one day the leadership of Uganda organized a national day of prayer and fasting. And Uganda's economy is one of the fastest growing economy in the world right now. Even the farm, the, the fruit, the, the, the produce where them produce in the, 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 the farm are flourish. Famine and all of them something they stop mm -hmm. in the land. It, 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 it can happen in America. The worst thing I heard yesterday was when them said teachers must carry a gun. Never in my wildest thoughts and dreams and imagination I would come to see even that discussion. You understand? Even that discussion that teachers must carry a gun. Erwin, big up yourself. Big up yourself. Um, oh, her phone died. Um, you know? But to God be the glory, you know? To God be the glory. I saw the thing set. Breakfast mm -hmm. time. Yeah, I'm praying for the people. I'm mean, not praying for the 17 and the families of the 17. Pray for Jamaica. Because Jamaica gets stupid too. You understand? With the foolishness of going on in Jamaica. People can't see it. I mean, you, you can argue about the atrocities and all of the things that were happening in Christianity. But, but overwhelmingly, the moral code of the Bible is still a standard by which we should live by. The moral code of the Bible. I mean, a business about the church them and, and for them thing where they do. I talk about the Bible, the word of God. It is still a code of ethics that we can live by, a moral code that can save our life. That's all the things. Mm -hmm. Anything to contribute, ma madam? The word of God never changes. Hot color look. <laughs> no matter which era you live in, what century you live in, it is still relevant still. and always will be relevant. Glory! So, Stop it now. <laughs> Annoying. It's a relevant word. Hallelujah. So yeah, let that be a guide. Yes, and amen. With that said, now let wash us my hands cook I think the I'm food. gonna take a look into that food thing now. Right. Spin that so camera around and show spin. them what's going on. Morning, Akino. You Good are Good morning, here. Akino. You are there. There. <clears throat> you right there. No, right there, yeah, right there, right there, yeah. Right there, right there. Akino always come in when the food time. Never feel the devotion. I know. No word him don't want to hear him come with the food time. You don't want to hear the Holy Scripture. Hallelujah. All right, guys. So today we're doing um a quiz. So who can tell me what this is? <laughs> who can tell me what this is? Who can tell me what this is? Akino. Still to the area. <laughs> and more importantly, who can guess what this is? Come on, I need some answers. Answer me. Answer me. <laughs> what is this? That's oh you want me to tell him? <laughs> grape, grape kale. You got one right. This is kale, but this is not grape. <laughs> yes, this is smoked salmon. Mm hmm And that's certainly kale. So we still need to know what is that. Olive. Olive. Yes, Erwin. That's olive. Here the curve they greens. greens. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we have here? Yes, this is jalapeno for sure. And so this is the only mystery item we have. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> uh, a... What you know? Kalamat olives. Uh-huh. You go. You go. Guan, you guan go girl. Queen. Guan girl. Yes, Kalamata that's... olives. Boom, 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 boom. No, that's not cilantro. That, that's um parsley. Parsley for real. So, yes. So, we're in business now. Now, we can get the ball rolling now that so we have established we the um the ingredients. So, we're doing a scramble. We're doing a egg, kale, and um, the smoked salmon scramble. And what I did with the kale this morning was I cut the ends of the kale, as you can see, and I stick them in some water. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, they get springy again because the water rushes into the body of the kale. Mm -hmm. So if you have wilted um, vegetables in your fridge, don't be quick to throw them out. Try that technique. I think you snip off the edge of the... Yes, snip the, it at an angle. Snip it at an angle at the ends like such. 
you know like if you have this here and it look wilted you just kind of cut right here at an angle put it in a cup of water and wash it revitalize right Re yeah give it like 10 minutes 15 minutes and it just spring up back mm -hmm. all right with my kale and for the purposes that we're using it now this kale is is easily easily one of the superfoods mm -hmm. um it can be eaten raw it can be juiced it can be cooked like callaloo or uh, you know spinach for, for for those who are not jamaican um and as you can see it's and even the stem here we save this because the wife juice them we juice it, yeah. you know so what i do is pretty much just um just cut along the vein roxanne is asking what seasonings do you use i come into that roxanne i come into that and and we use mainly if it's not herbs it is um fresh vegetable we don't use a lot of powdered seasoning and even those powdered seasoning that we use are grounded herbs mm -hmm. not like not uh, like for instance thing. we don't use chicken seasoning mm -hmm. we don't use them type of seasoning because most of them they make with calm the closest bottled seasoning that we would use is mrs dash or one of those right something like that mrs dash something like that our jody's kitchen all right, so I'm cut off the kale them like such, and then pretty much you just want to bundle them up mm -hmm. like such. Are you met about the like such in the show? <laughs> and rough chop. And you just rough chop. All right, you want me to do the narration? Yes, please. First, you bundle the kale. <laughs> then you start to chop them in a rocking motion. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so now that the kale is fully chopped, you set it aside and you move on to the nether thing. <laughs> <laughs> Where you move on to? The nether thing. <laughs> uh, I have no sense. <laughs> Alright, so he's just placing that to the side in a bowl. And guys, the preparation is the big thing right yeah. here. Okay. I promise you that. So, we are, once we we just want to get these things out of the way, let me rinse my because everything are going at the same bowl anyway. And trust me, he's the one that taught me how to cook using the preparation method. Because usually I would try to cut up that, put on the pot same time while me I cut up and then cut up. It, it make it confusing, and your pot can start burning. So if you prep everything before, then when you're cooking, cooking is a breeze. No and I, I don't over chop my, my um, parsley and stuff like that mm. because parsley, I, for guys especially, well, everybody, parsley is very good for your kidneys. Mm -hmm. See, me just put the parsley in the kale because me just put everything in the pot, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I'm gonna also cut my jalapenos using the old thing, um, probably jalapenos are not as as spicy as um scotch bonnet or, or, or habaneros okay so and then the most important thing is to get the vein out mm -hmm. and guys would you believe it that i am not a trained chef i'm just a very 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 enthusiastic very, um, and very talented own yeah. body person <laughs> you know the lord give me talent and me using the talent that's a gift all right so once you cut this now you get all the seeds you rinse away the extra seeds from your pepper and return it to the cutting station and then you just julienne and then you dice, dice. there's so many cooking terms julian and dice and you have perfectly diced mm -hmm. jalapenos hey, 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 hey. Hey. and then just i put my olives here and switch on okay i'm not an olive lover guys i don't know about you all and the thing with olives is that it usually comes salted and it's mm -hmm. very salty um but it does add that like a unique flavor Mm -hmm. And these are pitted Kalamata olives, as was um, said earlier on. Mm -hmm. And you just want to rough chop these. Oh, seasoning, you like um, olives? Nah. I, uh, people eat them alone, right? Just pop yeah. one in the mouth and eat them. Uh. I, I, there, there, there are varieties that I really enjoy eating. Mm -hmm. 
Like the um, green one? Yeah. You know, but I know all of them taste good. Especially stuffed with peppers. Okay. And them, them fruits have been around for years. I mean, centuries. People used to eat olives from, from biblical days. Mm -hmm. Olives been enjoyed. And trust me, you don't want to eat a fresh olive. <laughs> fresh olives not taste good, none at all. It you mean terrible. the one that's not pickled? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. So the pickled way to eat it is actually the preferred way. All right, so you rough chop your olives, and again, these are that's just for you know flavor. Put it with the with that. Can you use can you use black canned olives? Sure, almost every olive. Yeah, is, man. Almost every olive is um processed in some way or the other, so you're good to go. And if you know Yardy Belly Kitchen, Yardy Belly Kitchen supports using, you know, whatever is conducive to your taste. Yeah. So I, if something use, else, yeah. you know, is more um, flavorful to you or you, you, you don't like one thing, you can always substitute with something and else. And that's the good thing about my, my type of cooking. Me use what I have, so there's no hard and fast rules about what you do. You just you use what you have, turn your hand and make fashion. You know, as my mama used to say, you know, mm -hmm. and it's a term that describes an assess the necessity or, or um, what you call it, essential cooking. Being crea yeah, creative, you know? with yeah, creative. Yeah, use what you have, you know, because most Jamaicans now have every single thing where they want to make a food. Right. At, the, at this particular time, most Jamaicans, not everybody, you know, and, and but, but them still make the food and it tastes good though. Right. You know. That's how you get um um aki and, and, and chicken back. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Chicken, chicken, chicken back. Me have a chicken back. Me I use. Mm -hmm. You think me I go buy saltfish and me have chicken back? I had. Especially when money tight. Exactly, which is probably every day. <laughs> By the way, today is, is known as Ben Johnson Day, right? Mm -hmm. Don't ask me why them call it Ben Johnson Day or who is Ben Johnson. It's a Jamaican terminology if it said that the day is usually the day is, is either stew peas or soup. You know, it's so them fancy food, them I think I went food run out of your kitchen. No man, it's it, Jamaicans stew peas was necessity to inner see. Oh, yeah, for and real? yeah man, stew okay. peas never never was was um was elite food. Oh, stew I peas think was luxury, okay. No, because peas was plentiful. Oh, so you just grab whatever you have and throw it yeah, in a one pot thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Ben Johnson day was usually soup. Or stew peas or any other type of stew, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. Okay. All right. So I have my onions cut up too. And I just, as I say, make, you, you can put them in a separate container if you want. But me. Everything is gonna be sorted together. So. Yeah. It's just I I try to package them based on the timing of my saute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as you see, I don't waste things. I don't leave things behind. <laughs> behind. All right, behind. <laughs> My tomato. For a pop of color. This is a regular, um, what do you call this, plummy? Mm -hmm. Plummy tomato. And you're dicing it also. Mm -hmm. Big dice or, or rough not, chop. Not small dice, big <laughs> dice. <laughs> No, 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 smart. <laughs> inside joke, guys. Inside joke. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Well, we're going to show them the video. Let them get the joke. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So, we have our ingredients here. Let me clean up a little bit as I go along. And tell them what it's going to be had with. It's a surprise. <laughs> All right, anybody can guess what we're gonna have the scramble with? Oh no, they can't guess this. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. What do you mean? It doesn't make sense. They can guess. Tell them what they would, what, 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 ask them what would they eat it Yeah, with? what would you eat a scramble like this with? A egg, kale, and um, salmon scramble. How would you like to enjoy that kind of dish? With bread. Everything <laughs> a bread for you. Yes, sure. bread is the stuff of life. <laughs> All right. Wow. Erwin, so that's the prettiest tomato I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. So the pot 
is being toast. Okay, seasoning says toast. That's a good idea. Yeah, toast would be nice. Toast would be nice. Or in the bread family, probably a bagel and cream cheese or something like that too. Mm -hmm. But that's not what we're having. We're having something that's um, synonymous. Synonymous? No, that's a, that's, a, that's a favorite in, in Colombia and Venezuela. So today we're going international. So this thing that we're going to use as our accompaniment is from Venezuela and Colombia. And Bogota. Our sourdough bread. <laughs> sourdough bread is good. Yeah. Yeah. May I, may I jump on that? Yeah, but mm. like sourdough bread. All right. Um, Do we come over now? No, no, you've got to crack oh, those eggs. Oh, the eggs. Yubi. Okay. Pancake. Russell, Russell, I saw me know some of you family, you know. Russell said pancake. Remember me tell you. I Russell boss. Russell win. Russell win. It's not just any pancake though all right normally what right what track. i would recommend is you see like how she opened the egg right now all right the next egg she's gonna open is gonna be over this bowl you Reason? understand because you're gonna check if the egg spoil oh yeah yeah. and yeah. remember next time don't use a fork to crack the egg beat it lick it on the table why again because rachel ray says so and she's the expert <laughs> with us a far back her. but try it yeah no but you have to crack it better you see that Mm -hmm. So if you get a good crack, like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's how you do it. Yeah. See that? Bro, I'm not telling Rachel Ray is the boss. And then we're just going to add that there. And she got to cut the eye because she have a problem with egg eye. I never know the egg have eye. <laughs> oh, you know, you know the people that are going to support you with the eye argument, right? The egg eye met the egg raw, right? This, this membrane here and the, the egg. The raw. <laughs> Erwin, so lots of dishes to wash. <laughs> My dear. <laughs> we need to start use disposable dishes. Lots of dishes Where to wash. Where is our whisk? There's another drawer. Which one of the drawers is? That same drawer with the utensils in it. I don't see it though. Alright, so let's get rid of the shells. Oh, and just beat it up. The whisk. Oh, whisk. You know, it's a foreign with it. You can't use a fork and we have a whisk. A foreign with it, you know. See? Whisk. We have a whisk. Beat it up, beat it up, good and proper. So you don't put any kind of salt or pepper in this? Um, not not um salt because we're using the we're using the um the salmon, but okay. we can we can use some herbs. We use some herbs de Provence, yeah, <laughs> herbs de Provence, and you can use about morning Beverly a teaspoon, half of a teaspoon. And that's like what parsley and stuff. Yeah, it's um pretty much just a spice blend. Yeah, the salmon salt already, Sherry, for real. So we don't need to add any such. And thing. we can also use a little bit of um paprika, a little bit of paprika. All right. Morning, Sasha Gay, Alan. How you doing? Sasha Gay, how you do? Wonderful cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and as normal I'm using garlic powder and this garlic again guys remember to check your garlic powder mm -hmm. I'm using this brand and if your garlic powder goes hard when you open after you open the can mm -hmm. it means it's mixed with something garlic don't don't go hard if it's pure garlic sometimes they mix it with what cornmeal cornmeal oh, okay so we just use a little bit of that and whisk now And then I'm gonna start adding my ingredients over here. All right, let's get the show over there. So, so I added my onions and my scallions. Yeah, and I, I, you notice the pot not really hot. They don't really want this thing to burn. You know, you don't want it nice and simmer, simmer, and and copacetic. You know, and involvement. 
So yeah. Which yeah. oil you use? Olive oil? I used olive oil. Let me show you the, 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 the brand that I used. Mm -hmm. And we need to go back to the store because if it's done. This this is the brand I use. Um Colabita. Colabita. Kina, so yes I use it. Yes, use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Nice. So so once you get them them thing that start permitting it. <laughs> Yeah, that's my word, guys. Bear with me. Why fresh seasonings are a permitting? <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing he's gonna add to the pot is. Wait, wait, wait! I don't know. I'm not gonna say because I don't know. Um. <laughs> let me let me wash off my 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 cutting board and my cut the fish. <laughs> Wow, the aroma is very, 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 very aromatic. strong. You notice me use a big word from the other mm -hmm. day. So this is also onions, onions and, um, and scallion. scallion yeah. Wow, smell good. Yes, no I lie. know. No lie. It's very, very stupendous. It's very mantagamous. <laughs> no, I go overboard. You go overboard now with the big words, you know, that make no appearance. It's stupendous and magnificent. What? And mantagamous. Mantagamous. And very elocutious. Elocutious. These words, may I tell you. No, let me show you this thing because, you know, this is what we, the smoked salmon comes as in our local supermarket. It's called Nova Bites. And you want to come over? And and pretty much what it is 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 um smoked salmon but it's not in slices it's in bits you know like like Oops, you know the cheaper version because the slice one to, to buy it in slices is very expensive hey, Lee, right? Louis word that <laughs> Bentley Bob said <laughs> <laughs> Very subalicious. Sub <laughs> yeah, subonious. Oh, sub oh. Yeah, so so the smoked salmon is basically um you know it comes in this farm and at the cheap version called salmon expensive mm -hmm. you know and then we're buying it from an organic store called Fresh Market here in, mm -hmm. in Miami and it come it come in at them variations yeah so what one is the let me tell you the, the real thing the girl we sell we in at the store Jamaican and so when I went to buy salmon one time, she said, listen, you idiot. You can't buy that. At too expensive. Mm -hmm. So she showed, she put me onto this. Right. So we still have Jamaican. How we used to buy which one? The, the, it's the, the big thick one. The thick slices. Okay. But these are nicer to make sandwich. Like if you have a big lunch cheese, you just put a, a two slices of this and you're good to go. And you're good to gizzle. You understand? Yeah. All right. So now let's get back over here. Never put in this now. In other parts, all right. Well, I'm gonna get the, the spatula because my onion, them me like that, me like it, me like it. it's mm -hmm. almost translucent, it's nice, it not burn or nothing. Mm -hmm. Put in the keel, it's not like one name, like mekel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put in the keel now, yeah. And you, you pretty much just want your keel start to wilt, you understand. Sasha Gay Allen said just found the channel guys. That's nice. Thank, Thank you for you, joining. Thank you Sasha. And guess what <coughs> Sasha? We have the same last name. We have name. the same last name. That's why I'm going to say you might be our cousin. Yeah. So we big up yourself cousin family. Sasha. Big up. We are family. Eh, 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 eh. We got Sasha K and we. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Kino, you're not family I get. <laughs> Sasha has the same last name. Why? So see me now. Spin round, nice, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very, very nice, guys. Very nice. And I'm not gonna allow this to even go no more much, much deeper before we start. Right, the rest of stuff. right, 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 guys. I'm while you're watching, just go ahead and thumbs, and thumbs up. up, please. Thumbs up the video. And now mm -hmm. I'm adding my, my olives and my um, my jalapenos, mm -hmm. yeah. And immediately the jalapeno start show up itself, you can smell it. Mm -hmm. Brighten up the place, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, see there? 
Cause you want your you want your food green and pretty like this. You don't want it you don't dry want it out, out and yeah and and tired out. That's see? why I can't like um colored greens. Cause I'm like, why you have to cook, cook it so the long? Out of tomato. Greens. Watch it now. Look how the food I get pretty. Watch how the food I get pretty. Mm -hmm. Tomato in Jamaica. Them said tomatis. Tomatis. <laughs> and then the star of the show or no? I'm gonna add the eggs, right? Because. <laughs> I don't want the salmon. It look like one more egg, you know. <laughs> that, that four egg thing. The egg loss. <laughs> that four egg thing, then I'm going to make it. You want the egg look like it lost. Now I broke two eggs. Another really two eggs, yeah. So spin that round. We can't spin it before the others come? Yes, man. Then I scramble it, ma'am. Okay. If I scramble it, shots. Alright, so I'm going to spin this while we wait on the other two. Spinning while we eggs. wait. Spinning while we wait. We shall be scrambling, spinning while we wait. Spinning while we wait. Spinning while we wait. And while you guys wait. are watching, enjoy the beautiful sounds of Yardy <laughs> Belly. We shall be scrambling, spinning while we wait. <laughs> and many more. That's supposed to do the trick now. Yes. That shall be the trick. Hold on, I have to get out all of them eggs. Yeah. Use this. Oh, yeah. What do you call this? Spatula. The spatula. Anything you need to get And guys, get, a, get yourself a, 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 a vinyl spatula. You know, or a wooden spoon. I used to, I used to cook and, and um, me used to cook and have the, have the, 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 the metal spoon. Or the plastic. Yeah, me used to cook with the metal spoon and, and it was annoying to hear it and I get to understand that the problem is the spoon are a lick, a scrape the bottom of the, can, the, the, the containers, you know? So... Oh, um, you put the thing last? Yeah, because okay. it, you don't want it, it get too cooked. Okay. See, see you scrambling, you know? It's crumbling. It are scrambling. Let me put a little bit more, a little bit more oil. Olive oil. Mm -hmm. Olive oil done. And the last thing that I'm gonna put is my something over there. So yeah, the smoked salmon. And if you notice, the smoked salmon is that color. As mm -hmm. soon as the flames take it, it will start go into a lighter shade of pink. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the lighter it is, the more cooked it is. Alright? So. See there, guys? And I, I don't like my scramble to be overly soft. I like when the eggs are a little bit hard. So I'm just going to stir fry until it gets to that point. And the, oh, I need to add a little butter. And black pepper. Mm hmm Capers wouldn't come in right here. Capers can be used again. Um, maybe I, I put some on the plate. Okay. You know. I'm using a little bit of za'atar, which is a Mediterranean um, herb. It has a herb called hyssop. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Hyssop like what clean. David in the Bible said, wash me in hyssop and I'll be clean. I use za'atar a lot because it's really good. And then I'm using black pepper mm -hmm. and I'm, excuse my hand, because I love the grinding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Nice. See that? Now you hear the tune? Mm -hmm. It means that it's something start to deal with it. Time to almost lock off now. Right, right. So, turn the stove down a little bit for me. And as soon as you know say all of the eggs are cooked, you pretty much can lock off. I'm just gonna add a little butter to finish it up. And I don't let the butter, I don't let the butter over melt. As soon as the butter go down from the solid stage, you turn it off. 
And that's so olive oil. Yeah, it's a, um olive oil butter. Yeah, spirit. French. Wait, name. French man. This brand. And it is olive oil, made with olive oil. So you need to check your butter as well, guys. Let me tell you now. I know, I know everything was cheap at supermarket you must buy. Because me used to buy the cheap butter, I'm not lie. Mm -hmm. You know? And then I start to realize say, butter are almost 90% plastic. Because some butters, you notice when you put some butters in the pan, it don't really melt or it takes forever to melt. Yeah. That's not supposed to happen. Not supposed to. Alright, so no, a lot of people would don't like them them stuff as, as long as this. But bear with us. We like it this way, please. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to turn off that. And I like that the kale is still vibrant. I'm going to just warm up <coughs> my thing. I don't want it. Yeah, warm it a little bit, okay. I guess. My accompaniment. I'm just going to warm it. Accompaniment. It's just about time for the plating. Breakfast is already. When did we go? 45 minutes. Oh, the devotion. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Let me just put my plate over here so. Where are you guys logging on from? If you don't mind letting us know where you are watching from. We are in SoFlo. We are in South Florida. Sherry said, a true, yeah, talk. Margarine is one uh, molecule away from being plastic. <laughs> For real. A true, man. A true, For man. For real. True, true, true. Oh. Shoshana is in Fort Lauderdale. Erwin is in Florida. I, Raven, is in South California. Se seasoning is in um, Los Angeles, Jean Big Bay, up Los Angeles, Toronto. LA in the building. Big up in a cell. We love you, LA. One of these days we shall go over there. So Roxanne is in Missouri, Springfield. Wow. Well, one well, day, one day, one day we're gonna go to all of those places. Yeah, we have to go LA. Yeah, definitely. We want that is on our to-do list. To, have to go LA. To actually see the USA. We haven't really explored the USA at all. Yeah, we do Jamaica Erwin trip. Erwin is in Tampa, Florida. Yeah. We do Jamaica trip, so we need to do an America, cross country America trip. Yep. Sherry, Sherry is in Manchester, England. Wow, my parents were from St. Elizabeth and, and Clarendon. Are you serious? That is crazy. Because my mother is from Clarendon and his mother is from St. Elizabeth. And my father too. And Sherry, and my and real family. <laughs> Yeah, that's fun. Come and deliver England. <laughs> Russell said Fort Lauderdale till tomorrow. Yeah, uh, Russell is a, a nomad all over the place <laughs> in there at any the given time. <laughs> Who look good from London? Pamela, big up yourself from London. Sasha Gay from St. Anne, big up yourself. My love, Ochi. <laughs> um, Sherry, brother, well gone. <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, brother, sister, Wagwan. <laughs> big up, big up, big up. All right, come over, Yasu, now, see? All right, so now that you guys have seen enough of this, let us go over Yasu. Hmm. Ta -da! And this is the surprise. What is this called? Arati? A rapist. <laughs> really, see? <laughs> <laughs> Kara Where's the Karachi? Ara <laughs> Arachi. <laughs> this is called Arepas. It's a corned pancake. Corn pancake. And it's um Latin. Mm -hmm. It's famous from Venezuela, Colombia. Mm -hmm. And because we have a whole lot of Latin influences in South Florida, mm -hmm. we have chosen to use this this morning. Yeah. No, me not, me not see no space to the egg. But. Sherry said the food look good, guys. Seasoning say look delish. <laughs> and it has what? Cheese in the middle? Yeah, it have, it have, have, um, it have um, queso fresco. Queso fresco cheese is in between the two pancakes. pancakes. You know, and you can make this on your own, but this morning we got it from the store fresh. And we're still representing our hand-picked tomatoes that we got at the U-Pick Market. Um, farm, rather. U-Pick Farm. Yeah, that video is Guys, coming up soon. Guys, it makes a big difference. Yeah, look out for that vlog where we went um, to the farm. And we just want to add 
Hope Morrison, good morning. We just want to add way. That's why I like you all so much. You guys from Senti. <laughs> <laughs> why? You had in the pancake? Hmm? Not really, but it, it's it's an accompaniment, so you really oh, don't. Uh, you serve it over top. Yeah, that's good. How this look, guys? Where is the Yupik farm and Yupik our farm kids allowed? Oh yes, kids is a family thing. It's in Kendall, Kendall. West Kendall, I think. Yeah. And yeah, um, it <coughs> it's the letter U, so it's the letter U pick. So just look up Yupik farms and um. And then you pick it. It's free. You just wait. Whatever you pick, they just wait and tell you the price. And we got a bunch of stuff and it was only $20. We, even this kale that we're using, we bought there at the U-Pick place too. And we got mm -hmm. some freshly hand-picked strawberries. And, um, and Vidalia onions, which is the sweet onion. We got that at the U-Pick as well. Yeah. We did, we did. We sure did. So this is breakfast today. Yeah, the belly style. Wicked and wild. Well versatile. <laughs> <Not done>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. And he's drizzling it with a tad bit of olive oil, which you know accompanies tomatoes very well also. Quite Guys, quite so. Make sure. So when you get up in the morning. You look for your thing and look for your thing proper. I even say I'm going to make this right now. <laughs> yeah, that's Just fun. bought smoked salmon yesterday. Look at that. Yeah, man. Hope says, all right, you're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you not do nothing and do it proper. You understand what I'm saying? It's a good look, Russell. Yes, Russell, good look. <laughs> it's a pity. When you come back down, link we up. Because we have, to, we have to start your cook a pad for you. <laughs> Sherry Lewin, God bless you guys and thank you for sharing Bon Appetit. Thank you. No, I'm going to put some honey, but I can't bother. Let me put some agarvi. Just for that sweetness step on the vegetable. Oh, yeah. We have a thing where we like. We, um, we call it umami. Yeah. I'm using some agarvi. We like sweet and, and salty together. It's a sugar substitute, and you just basically want to drizzle and a little of it on your, mm -hmm. your thing, you know? Yeah. And I eat that. Your thing, the things done, done set, the thing set. Yes, Roxanne, you definitely should try it. It's easy, as you can see. And you can substitute things also if you want. You don't have to do the ingredients that we do. It's just a template. So remember, guys, like, share, subscribe, love up the thing, thumbs up if you enjoy the something. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next Thursday. Or, you know, so we we'll have a live some crazy or oh, some crazy. Oh, times. yeah. We, sometimes we do random live vlogs. Like yeah. this week, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. We, we did a fish fry. So if you didn't um, join us live, check go and check that video. We mm -hmm. just uploaded it on Wednesday. The playlist, them. Search in the, on the channel for the playlist and you will see vlogs. Um, all our vlogs. We have Jamaica vlogs. Um, we have Taste Buds is another um, good one. Check mm -hmm. Yardy Belly playlist for recipes. We have Gym Shorts where we show how we work. Yeah, but out. Gym Shorts, Gym Shorts, me, me too fat. You understand? Hence, Gym Shorts. Oh, yeah. If you so want to work out with me, you know. Everything take time. Mm -hmm. I'm so skinny. Don't worry about it. I'm very skinny right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm so skinny and fresh. Um, see you and again cute. soon. Yes, um, Sherry. And blessings Great. to each and everyone. Thank Remember, you. thumbs up, guys. See thumbs you. up on the video. Please thumbs up on the video. Yeah, before you all sign out, please thumbs up the video. I made the add them play, not 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 click out the add. Yeah, them. don't click on the add them. Watch the add them. Yeah, cause you know it got ready. <laughs> thing I go on. You Look at Later, thing I go on. John B, big up yourself. Put the thumbs up, up, up. And check her out on Instagram. Yeah, one true natural on Instagram, and Jamaican comedian sent up. Jamaican comedian sent up. Put it on Instagram. You just joining Laura? Are you serious? Laura P. Lara, you have to go watch the video when you done. You have to go watch the video because you missed the thing. <laughs> I'ma feel hurt. Yeah, look, let me give you a quick yeah, look. Yeah, show Laura that this something. Not even to turn on the camera, but this is it. This. Turn it around, make you see the proper thing. Yeah, I can turn it around. Got Laura up a seat in ya. See this. Oh, one. Laura was at the gym. Good girl. So now you can go make this breakfast. <laughs> 
this is um, a kale egg and smoked salmon scramble and we served it with something called a avatar a rapist oh. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> what? What's the matter with you? <laughs> it's new to me. It's, it's a pancake. It's a corn pancake. It's a corn pancake. Famous in Venezuela and Colombia. So yeah, and we got that at the um, Whole food the, um, fresh market. Fresh market. Right, and you know the famous orange juice. Big up yourself. What about the I call, the coconut thing? Not Which today. Coconut thing? For the OJ. Which coconut thing? The spiking thing. Really? <laughs> hey, me not telling no what to do. Me not telling no what to do. But you see this and this. Me. Hey, Russell, Kino, this and this. This and this. They are not friends. not telling no what to do. This coconut thingy and this OJ, they're mm -hmm. friends. They work well together. The food tastes good? He's over there tasting. Mm -mm. Come, you come eat your food. No, 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 no. All right. Anyway, guys, I think it's about that time when we are going to sign out because the food won't get cold, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. Yeah, watch the video, Laura P, and then you can just try it. It's easy, quick and easy. That's a nice change from the ordinary. Definitely is. Bless up to no each and every one. I saw the thing said, breakfast live. And that was it. Remember. Have a great day and a beautiful weekend. Until next time, I'm almost there. Ha! <laughs> it done. <laughs>